Here are my three touchdown score picks for Dolphins Bills, brought to you by the Action Network app. And my first pick is going to be Dawson Knox. I grabbed his touchdown odds at plus 245. And Knox finally got back on the board last week with an acrobatic touchdown versus the Jets. Got a prime matchup on deck versus the Dolphins, who have been struggling to contain tight ends this year. Miami ranks bottom five in yards, receptions, and touchdowns allowed to the position. I used to have a rule that if Dawson Knox was over plus 200, it was an auto bet. But I've been breaking that rule lately. Well, no more. Knox is scoring on Saturday. My next pick is going to be Jalen Waddle. I grabbed his touchdown odds at plus 270. And we're getting good value on Waddle here, mainly because of recency bias. The Dolphins had two blowout wins and then two games where Tua couldn't complete a pass. And that has Waddle now without a touchdown in four games. But we're facing a Bills team that has struggled to contain the pass. 12 touchdowns allowed to wide receivers this year. That's the most of any position group they face. Trent Sherfield at plus 550 is a decent option, but I like Waddle to get it done. And my final pick is going to be Isaiah McKenzie. I grabbed his touchdown odds at plus 340. Now, he has 20 targets and a touchdown over his last three games. And Isaiah McKenzie's versatility is what makes it really hard to pass on. He has nine red zone targets this year. That's the same as Gabe Davis, but he also has three red zone carries and a touchdown. When these teams met in week three, McKenzie scored a touchdown on nine targets. Now, in a game where it's expected to be really cold, quick short passes over the middle is what I expect from the Bills. So those are my three touchdown score picks. We're taking Isaiah McKenzie, Jalen Waddle, and Dawson Knox, all tracked at the Action Network app. Bon chance.